So a lot of us are wondering why Godzilla's pink now. There's a lot of details in the new trailer that's raising a freaking a lot of questions. So today we're going on to MindQ. This amazing genius channel breaks down so many epic kaiju, dragon, dinosaur related things. Whenever I'm like questionable on something, this guy's usually got the answers. Today he's going to teach us everything we don't know. Hopefully answer all our questions and it's going to be awesome. Subscribe to his channel, link down below, and let's get into it. All right, time to learn us some knowledge. This is exciting. I love this guy's intros. It means I'm about to learn stuff. I feel so much smarter after these videos. So we finally have a trailer of Godzilla and Kong The New Empire. And it tells us a lot at where the Monsterverse is right now. And also raises it countless sure questions. Does. To which we will answer each and every one of them in future videos. We won't do a breakdown or a reaction video. Those are a dime a dozen by now. For this video it's today, true, we will I take made. a look only at Godzilla's new evolved form and compare him to the previous ones. So let's get to it. So obviously, let's start with size. Firstly, there isn't much of a difference that one can see here with his height. Godzilla Dude. was 90 meters or 300 feet in 90... That photo? I had to go back. I tried to pause it and I missed my finger. This photo, there has been so much drama erupting in my community involving Godzilla being a little thinner now and having longer arms. Look at his arms. He looks like a beefcake, dude. He's been working out like crazy. And of course, he's going to be thinner. He was like hibernating for hundreds of years. Now he's running around the planet policing all the kaiju. I don't know. I think him being thinner makes a lot of sense. It was 90 meters or 300 feet in 1954, as was seen in Monarch, the Legacy of Monsters. Then grew to be... 355 feet or 108 meters in his first appearance in 2014. Then he fought with the Muto Prime and evolved further to grow to a size of 393 feet or 120 meters in height. As for this GXK Godzilla, he does look leaner and has bigger dorsal plates which we shall address in a few seconds. So it might be that he has grown slightly taller with his pink plates giving an extra few meters. He's so beautiful! Also when he was running with Kong to get some big mags, he does appear to be visibly a lot taller than he was against Kong in GVK. Ooh! Now let's take a look at the most controversial change in Godzilla, which is obviously this, his pink amethyst type dorsal plates. He looks like an evil Goku in Super Saiyan Rose form. He does. These dorsal plates, whether you like them or not, isn't the first time Godzilla has had them in this shade. This design is heavily influenced or copied from Godzilla Millennium. That's what I Godzilla keep hearing as well. He too has these pink crystal-like spikes on his back. They're so beautiful! Once on the MonsterVerse, Godzilla seems to jut out from many different places, giving him a more spiky and dangerous look. In fact, they start right from the head, with three distinct rows emerging just above his eyes and his forehead. Oh, his they beautiful pink along eyeball the back, too! and growing over the previous plates, adding height to the Titan as well as energy. These end, of course, with the tail, which bears the same dorsal plates, and in fact, if the leaks are true, he will have a Stegosaurus-like spike at the end. Really? Okay, let's go forth to his arms That sounds arms crazy as hell. A lot of people keep saying pink is fruity and like like for girls and stuff like that. It's, uh, dude, pink is an awesome color. It's like vibrant and borns of danger in nature. It's like venomous. Pink's an awesome color. Pink has consistently been one of my favorite colors forever, so I love it. This Godzilla in this particular evolved form has probably the longest arms to body ratio he does, of dude. any other Godzilla, be it from the MonsterVerse He's got some or grippers. from the Toho movies. The arm length was also changed greatly during his evolution period under the Chrysalis, probably in reaction to his fight with Mecha Godzilla, where his upper body strength and speed and the use of his arms was greatly outdone by the robotic counterpart. That's so freaking true! The elbows have crystal spikes on it, and the claws have also grown longer. The legs of his is where I feel a bit sad though. They appear to be athletic and not thick anymore. Look See, that's a lot of people are pissed about that as well, that he's like thicker and more, or not, he's not as thick anymore. But I don't know, I think Godzilla was like borderline obese before. Like in Godzilla vs. Kong, he was freaking huge. I think he had to lose some weight to fight like more agile kaiju, otherwise something was gonna happen to him terribly, for sure. Also, I love Mind Q's idea about him evolving to handle specific threats. He, it's like Shin Godzilla, like when they bombed his back, so he evolved back beams. Godzilla got whooped by Mecha Godzilla in freaking melee fights, so now he evolved to have longer arms to combat it. I think that's that's awesome. It's like he has been losing weight and not in the right places. Whoa. Damn, boy. We all <laughs> love those massive thighs and heavy feet. But it's all right, though. We'll grow to love these new assets, too. We will. So after the limbs, let's take a look at the changes in his upper torso. 
the skin, the chest, this and the belly. This photo had the worst CGI. So, I always feel bad looking design, at it. The skin looks to be or have a whitish appearance on it, which at first we thought was ice and snow from the glacier. But when it showed the same in the desert scene and when he was running, we knew then and there that his coloration has also changed from the base up. It's not just that, but the skin Maybe near the dorsal plates really also cold, looked to be you know? yellowish or beige in color, like it was burnt by the radiation that is emitted constantly from the pink dorsal Ooh, plates. it does look like burnt so skin. That. What about his chest? It looks to be similar and of a similar size. It's just the ratio of the arms, head, and the greatly reduced belly that makes the chest look small. It is a so greatly you guys reduced body belly. Shame the king of the monsters right from 2014, and now you've done it. He has lost his belly fat. He went and hit the gym, or maybe dreamt of the gym in his chrysalis form, and then finally got evolved and got ripped, and also had abs. You know, abs of fucking steel. <laughs> now, what about his powers? I've never heard him cuss speed. before. <laughs> so, just by looking at the trailer, we can see that his speed is greatly enhanced. We first saw him rush forward in a running form in fighting when he was facing Ghidorah in Boston in King of the Monsters. See, I don't know then anyone could look Godzilla at this scene and not love this. Like, look how freaking terrifying they look just charging in like that. They look so scary. I had to pause it and point out how freaking scary in they look. Boston <laughs> in King of the Monsters. Then Godzilla vs. Kong showed that he can sustain this kind of movement for somewhat of an extended period of time. And now in GXK, he seems to be running like a man, which although looks intimidating, doesn't really add to the weight of the character or the movements, which we really love the animalistic ones from GVK. Now he kind of looks humanoid. He seems to be even faster than Kong who is trying to keep up in the back. So what about strength? I do admit it's well, very we different, but I love that it, man. When the movie hits the screens, he will almost definitely be more durable, though, since he has evolved into a greater state. Otherwise, what would be the point or the purpose of it all? Absolutely. And as for the atomic breath, let's discuss this with his comparison to Godzilla Millennium, which we shall do right after this. Since we have covered so the arms, beautiful. the legs, the skin, the torso, the chest, the spikes, and the size. Let's take a look at him with Godzilla 2000, or otherwise known as Godzilla Millennium. I keep seeing well, this comparison all over the internet as well. If it comes to size and weight, the Monster vs. Titan is way bigger than the 55 meter tall 2000, the incarnation of Toho. But there is one very important thing you must focus on, aside from the dorsal plates which have a similar coloration. The Millennium Godzilla's atomic breath is unique in that, rather than being a whitish mist or a blue beam, it is a fiery orange glow. Ooh. This version of Godzilla's atomic breath appears to be more incendiary in nature than the previous versions, producing a fiery explosion whenever it is used. I like where he's going whenever with Godzilla this a lot right now. Whenever Godzilla atomic breath, his dorsal fins glow orange and gives off an intense heat. So that's Godzilla Millennium. So this kind of looks familiar to GXK Godzilla. See, that's what I was thinking as well. Everyone hates the pink. It's like, wait till he does something. What if he does something that triggers it and makes it all go red and super evil and crazy looking? When he is charging up his atomic breath as seen in the trailer, but rather than emitting an orange glow, this changed to a pink or a magenta color. And if it follows the same trend, then maybe his atomic breath will now have an explosive after effect similar to Godzilla Minus 1's nuclear cannon, so cool. as we like to call it and definitely similar to Godzilla Millennium. Lastly, let's do a bit of a comparison to his earlier MonsterVerse forms, starting with size. Well, we all know that by now. Oh, he we has lost so much weight, in whoa. the video itself earlier on. Okay, let's do it again. 1954, 90 meters or 300 feet. Look at those long, weird red eight fingers, 108 man. 108 meters or 355 feet. 2019 and GVK, 120 meters or 393 feet. And now GXK will probably be more than 400 or close to 410 what? feet That'd be with insane. his enlarged dorsal plates. Yeah, those. Godzilla's original dorsal plates were straight and jagged, same with the 1954 form. 2019 has a more maple leaf shaped and GVK enhanced this by a bit with a more intimidating bluish glow. See, the dorsal spikes always confuses me because in the comic they mentioned they kind of grow forever and Godzilla uses like the walls or the ceiling of one of his deep down caverns to sharpen them down or something. But I don't know, I'm confused how much of the comics they're keeping canon. Now we have the pink magenta ones. So the feet were always similar in proportion still now, which have now lessened in thickness. While the arms have grown quite a lot, 
with an added spiky elbow uh, composed of the same crystal-like uh, plates. And lastly, his belly is gone, with his atomic breath bearing a magenta color which greatly diverts from the normal blue. And those are all the differences Godzilla in GXK has against the I hope Kong gets his lightning power so bad, so, dude. So if you like this video, then watch this one too. And do check out our channel as well. I think my only thing is, like, I know a, like, a lot of people agree with him on all these complaints. I personally just am a fanboy. I love anything, for the most part, that Godzilla does. It's the humans that piss me off. But I don't know. A lot of people are mad that he's running more as a humanoid, but I feel like he's always been pretty humanoid. Like, he's a biped. He's got, like, fingers and fingernails. He's got, like, attributes that, I don't know, resemble kind of a humanoid. He always has, so. Either way, I'm excited as hell for this movie. So freaking excited. It's not even funny. But yeah, leave a like, subscribe. Subscribe to MindQ as well. Link down below for more information. I'm gonna go pause a bunch of epic possibilities for this movie and i'll see you guys next time